Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm making another video, like I said I would, and today we're getting back into the world of conspiracies. If you're not If you're not familiar with my Kobe's vs. Conspiracies series, I have explained it in two other videos where I talk about the Illuminati and then talk about birds aren't real as a conspiracy. Um, but I'll give you a quick little rundown. I like to think that the best way to get an idea of something's validity is just by looking back at the start and where it came from. So in these videos, I'm basically deciding whether or not I feel that a conspiracy is valid, which means it could or could not be true still, um, simply based on its origins and where it came from. Like I said, I already did two videos like this one. Uh, the first one I did about the Illuminati, where I found it was not valid, uh, just because it was mostly rooted in anti-Semitism and bigotry. Uh, and Birds Aren't Real, which I found it is very, very fun and very, very valid, um, while it's very proven that it's not true. Um, but it is still valid. So we have one not valid, one valid. Uh, and today, we're talking about another one, which is the Denver International Airport. When I started like looking at like lists of different conspiracies that I could like get into and dig into the roots of, I just kept seeing Denver Airport just listed in alongside everything else, and I didn't really know like what that was or like what the conspiracy was. And so I've done a lot of digging. I have like seven tabs pulled up on my computer right now, and those sources will be uh, linked in the description of this video uh, once I post it. Um, but anyway. So basically, the Denver airport, for those of you that kind of like don't really know, like I didn't for a long time, kind of starting to look into it, is basically like a hubbub of conspiracies. There's a lot of different ones connecting to just different things. Some people think that the giant blue horse sculpture with red eyes is possessed. Uh, some people think that other sculptures have secret messages hidden in them. There's a lot of talk about the art in the Denver uh, airport. Uh, some facts about the Denver airport is it's the biggest one in the United States, uh, the second biggest one in the entire world, which is wild, because the world is a big place, and Denver airport is big inside of it. <laughs> a lot of people think that it's like the hubbub of a bunch of secret societies like the Illuminati or New World Order, which we'll get into in a minute, because I have some things, I have some things that are kind of interesting. Uh, and uh, just a lot of different thought-provoking things, but unless you know where this kind of originated, it's hard to see why people will have so many theories attached to this one location. And the answer to where all the conspiracies from the Denver airport came from, it's actually pretty simple. There's like one, maybe two sources of these conspiracies. Uh, the first big one is that when they built the Denver airport, they went $3 billion over budget. Now, I'm a college student, or at least I was before I had to cut my classes out of my life uh, in order to pay rent and buy food and gas. Um, but as a college student, as someone living in this world, I know how easy it is to spend money that you don't really have, which you shouldn't do, to be clear. Be very careful. But I would never spend three billion dollars on one thing. I would never even be able to fathom that. And another thing attached to the budget is the art that I mentioned earlier. Because in Denver, uh, I think there's some kind of like law or rule that 1% of the budget for something has to include art done by artists from Denver. And so with this giant budget of over three billion dollars that they accumulated, there's a lot of art in the Denver airport. Uh, one of those is a giant horse sculpture who the artist, uh, Louis, or Louis Jimenez, I probably really mis mispronounced that, and I'm so sorry uh, about that, uh, but he was actually, da he passed away while he was sculpting his piece of art because it was just so big, uh, a part of it fell off, landed on him, severed an artery, and he unfortunately did not make it to see the completion of his statue. This gigantic horse sculpture is painted bright blue and has bright red eyes, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, I really appreciate the artisticness and the beauty of the sculpture itself, 
uh, but a lot of people seem to think that this sculpture is possessed or cursed or something. Uh, or, on the other hand, some people think that it wards off evil spirits. Um, but that something connected to someone's death is very easily taken as some kind of sign of something. So that makes sense why the art is looked at in such a way. Other sculptures have been mentioned in other conspiracy theories that we'll get to a little bit later. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that we stay at the root that all of this stuff that I'm about to talk about, people speculated because of how over budget they went. Because once they went $3 billion over budget, so there were questions. Like, what were they using all of this extra money for? It's the biggest airport in the country. What are they using all that land for? There's so many different theories thinking that there's, say, tunnels uh, to... First, it was like to the different airplane hangars, and then to different <laughs> military or government bases around the country, just underground, which would be wild if it were true. I'm just saying, that sounds kind of cool. I don't know. Um, but the fact of the matter is, there are underground layers, at least six known underground levels in the Denver airport, and the staff does use tunnels to get around quickly and avoid uh, disturbing uh, the passengers and people moving through the airport. So, there are tunnels and there are underground places in the Denver airport. That's something that we know. But a lot of people seem to think that because so much of it seems unused, at least unused by the public, uh, that these underground places or underground tunnels are used by things like the Illuminati, the New World Order, uh, neo-Nazis, which, first of all, the Illuminati, watch the Illuminati video for all my thoughts on the Illuminati, this is the last time I'm mentioning it, there we go. Uh, neo-Nazis, I don't know, most people don't like those guys, but like, if someone who does like those guys is up on a ladder, then it's like, hey, they can give them stuff, but you know, it is also possible that they rent them out to people without it being, you know, nobody really knows for sure, these kind of things. If there are secret meeting rooms under the Denver airport, I find they're probably pretty benign. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. The world's a spooky place sometimes. Um, other than that, we'll have to talk about the New World Order, which is usually used in conjuncture with the Illuminati. Uh, but in this case, uh, the, the, like, uh, capstone plaque thing outside the Denver airport cites a New World Airport Commission as being the top beneficiary of the airport. And that doesn't exist. If you look that up, you'll only find it in connection to that engraving in the Denver airport. There is no New World Airport Commission. So a lot of people say, oh, New World Airport Commission, New World Order. As for the New World Order, that's something... Like, I don't know, they do use the words New World, but, uh, things that I can promise you aren't there are, like, lizard people. I said this in the Illuminati video, and I will say it again here. These are caricatures, anti-Semitic caricatures, used to make it so people didn't like Jews, uh, when people were very, very anti-Jewish back in the day. Uh, and now are used to just poke fun, but are still very hurtful. So it's always best to just, if you see a conspiracy with that, just say, okay, let's push that out of the way and look at what's actually here in the conspiracy, because most likely it's just something else. Um, sorry, I sound so annoyed talking about that, but I find it at every conspiracy I try to look at, and I say, hey, stop that. You're being, you're being mean. You're being mean to them. Um, there's also theories about, like, aliens being involved. And to be fair, I come off kind of as a skeptic in these videos. But I believe in ghosts and aliens and the supernatural. If I was an alien, where would be the best place to conceal myself? What an airport! Things fly in and out of airports every single day. and if they really have all these secret rooms underneath, 
I'd be pretty set if I wanted to have an alien base. You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying the alien thing, it might be true. I'm saying a lot of these might be true because the point of the matter is that there, the three billion dollars definitely went somewhere. And is it possible that uh, it was stolen? Like they were just being shitty businessmen and saying like, yeah, this is that. Oh, that three billion dollars we used, we used that on the airport. We were um, we were doing the planes and we. We used that three billion on the airport. You know, maybe all of this started because some idiot lied, and I would just find that kind of hilarious if that was the case. And then the last thing that I kind of wanted to talk about was the secret messages that people find think are in a couple of the different sculptures. Some people think some of the art depicts the end of the world. Some people think it has secret messages that tell you the real purpose of the the airport when. I feel like airports are pretty straightforward. You go there, you get on the plane, and you fly to the next one. Because uh, it's like, otherwise we'd have planes landing just willy-nilly, and we wouldn't know what to do with them. And that wouldn't be good for anybody. Nobody wants a plane just in the road. Uh, but I don't know. You know, maybe it's an under maybe it's an end of the world bunker, because the government knows things that we don't know. I don't know. But... The fact of the matter is, going back to my original point, these three blue things are facts written on the top. I don't think you can read them super well with my camera, and I'm sorry, but fact, three billion dollars over budget, six known underground levels, and some somewhat strange deaths, all respect to Luis Jimenez and anyone else who may have been um, injured or ill during the time it was being built, all respect to them. There could be some things there because supernatural things seem to follow misfortune. Those are three facts that we know for sure. Three billion dollars went somewhere. There is history of underground uh, rooms and tunnels at the Denver airport. And maybe spooky stuff happens there. And that is all perfect ground for building conspiracies and having theories. I think it would just be fine to say I'll put a green stamp that says valid on the basis of the Denver International Airport conspiracies. A lot of the conspiracies I don't think are true, especially the uh, ones to do with things I've already mentioned. Uh, but, um, you know... Go wild as long as you do your research and you aren't harming anyone by uh, thinking of different things that could be going on there. I see no reason that it would be a bad thing or just a stupid thing to look into. But yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that's another video. It's not it's not like a deep dive. I'm not like I'm not like Wendigooning this shit. Okay, like I don't have. He has way more like time. And he puts in way more effort than I am. But I just enjoy looking at the origins of things and basing my opinion off of those. If in the case that one of these conspiracies one day really hooks me, I might go into a deep dive. Um, but until then, you're just getting the rundown, the origins, and my green stamp of approval on some of them. And the red stamp of disapproval on other ones. <laughs> <coughs> that wasn't a real cough. I've... <coughs> Now I now it is. Oh god. <laughs> but yeah, that's just about the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any uh, different things that you've heard or any fun facts or any conspiracies that you want me to check out, uh, go ahead and hit them in the comments. Uh, if you just have any comments, put them in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, check out my other videos, check out my Twitch. Um, check out like, my Twitter. I don't know. Just come hang out. I'm a cool, I'm fun. I'm a fun guy sometimes. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you watching. This was a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to research because I finally understand <laughs> what the Denver airport on all those lists means. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you watching and uh, yeah, that's just about that's just that, that's just about it. So uh, hasta la pasta. I'll see you next time.